Coming up next week at the Strasbourg Plenary, MEPs look ahead to the upcoming European Council, future action on climate change and a little matter of a fond farewell. Welcome to the agenda. As European leaders try to relaunch the European project at next month's European Council, could MEPs perhaps help to inject new momentum ahead of the summit? The focus, relations with Russia, trade and migration. At the last plenary session, MEPs rejected a commission proposal that could allow member states to deduct the numbers of Syrian refugees they take from Turkey from those seeking asylum who they pledge to relocate from Greece and Italy. MEPs have also called for greater unity in countering Russian aggression. The plenary debate takes place on Wednesday. When a former European commissioner who had previously laid down the laws for Europe doesn't follow best practice, it's a little more than a boo-boo. The former European Commissioner for Competition, Nelly Kroos, has found herself in hot water after being implicated in the Bahama Papers. It would appear that she never relinquished her position in an offshore company during her tenure. The Malaise has also caught the attention of the European Ombudsman, who has questioned the appointment of the former EU Commission Chief, Barroso, to Goldman Sachs. A lively debate is no doubt set for Tuesday, where MEPs will quiz representatives of the Commission on the business shenanigans of their former top brass. With the ceasefire in tatters, can there be a diplomatic resolution to the conflict in Syria? All attempts to revive the short-lived ceasefire that fell apart on September 19th following an attack on a UN aid convoy are stalling as both Russia and the US are unable to come to terms. MEPs will discuss the way ahead for Syria along with having a separate debate on Colombia. A referendum is set to be held there on October 2nd to sign off on a historic peace deal with FARC rebels. Both debates are marked for Wednesday. And now for the news in brief. Growth stagnation despite progress to decrease debt. MEPs debate Greece's outlook on Tuesday. A final agreement on new rules to prevent the trade in goods and services that may contribute to torture or execution is expected to get parliamentary approval on Tuesday. MEPs will vote on reindustrialization policy and take a look at Caterpillar and Alstom. Restructuring plans at machinery maker Caterpillar and train manufacturer Alstom could put thousands of jobs at stake at factories across Belgium, France and Northern Ireland. Morocco will be the venue for the next climate change conference at COP22, but a little matter of the ratification of the COP21 Paris Agreement still lingers. The Council is expected to ratify the COP21 Agreement the first big global undertaking to reduce CO2 emissions to be ready by 7th October. If that happens, it paves the way for the road ahead. Plans for COP22 include Morocco's energy initiative to switch to 50% renewable energy by 2030. The climate change debate takes place at plenary on Wednesday. OK, well, that's a wrap for me. This is my last agenda, my last programme for Europol TV. Take care and bye-bye.